Have you ever received a potted aquarium plant, whether it be online or from the local fish store, and you ask yourself, now how in the heck am I supposed to plant this thing? Well, don't go anywhere, because I'm going to show you how to take it from this to this. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video. I am Kendall Water from Otter Creek Aquatics, and today I want to show you how to take a potted plant, depot it, and actually get it planted into your aquarium. The first thing we're going to do is simply remove this tag. If you're scared you're not going to remember the name of the plant, just simply take a picture of it and write the name down. The second thing we're going to do is pinch here at the top of the plant and you can simply pull the plant apart from the pot. Sometimes you'll get the roots down there in the bottom and they will actually get wrapped around the pot. So in that case we're going to have to actually cut the pot off of the plant. If you have to cut the pot off the plant, the way that I like to do it is simply just start on one side, snip it, go all the way around to the other side, snip it, and then you can pull this completely in half and slide that out and try not to tear up any of the roots because that is the most important part of this plant. After that, we're going to start peeling off this wool-like substance. And the way that I like to do that, simply just break it in half. Make sure you don't pull off any of the roots like I said before. And then you can just start peeling it back even more. And it basically just breaks in half. And then you got a little bit left on there and you can peel that off or you can also even run it under water and try to get as much of it as you can but typically it's not going to hurt the aquarium plant and you can leave it there for when you go to plant it down into your substrate so now that we've got the plant completely removed from the pot the next thing we're going to do is see if we can divide this plant up into smaller portions that way we can get more use out of the plant even though this plant may look like it's one complete plant, especially cryptocorns, they can often be split up into smaller portions. That way we can get more use and more benefits out of one individual plant. And when you go to start splitting this up, you want to be really, really careful that you're not ripping any roots off because you actually are pretty much paying for just the roots. Most plants are going to die back on you. So you want to try and save as much roots as possible. See, there's one plant right there compared to this. And we're just going to continue to do that until we get it completely split up. So now that we've got that finished, you can see here that I have eight, seven different crypt loosens. And this is such an important part of this step because now I can split them up into eight different aquariums or I can space them out evenly and put all eight of them in the same aquarium. So the next thing that I like to do is just float them in an aquarium while I'm doing the planting. And then I can just pull one out and we can get it planted into a different aquarium. Or if I'm planting them all in here, that's gonna keep the roots nice and wet. That way they're not gonna get dried up when we go to plant. Another tip, I like to use these aquascaping tweezers just because it makes it much easier when you go to plant. Put it down into the substrate, cover it up a little bit, and boom, you're done. So my question for you all today is, do you find better success in potted plants or bare root plants? Let me know down in the comments below. If you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Or if you think someone else may benefit from this video, go ahead and share it out. If you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. That way you know the next time I upload a new video. Don't forget to keep following your dreams and keep inspiring. And until next time, everybody, see you.